Hello everybody! Recently I've been really really wanting to learn a certain language because somebody in my family speaks this language supposedly. I don't actually know if she remembers it clearly because it's been a long time but I've been wanting to study a new language lately in addition to Korean. This will be the first time I'm studying two languages relatively at the same time. My Korean is at a higher level than this language because I have almost zero knowledge of it. But they're kind of closer in the amount of knowledge that I have of each than, say, when I started learning French after learning Spanish for years. I am not fluent in Korean, nor would I say I'm even conversational, so this will be the first time I'm kind of doing something like that. But this project was inspired by Duolingo, and if you don't know what that is, I do have another video explaining a little bit about that, so I'll put it in the description box. You could check it out. And my idea was to do a Duolingo challenge where I would challenge myself to start from scratch and learn a language because normally I say that Duolingo is a good supplement, but I never say to use it on its own. I really don't think it would be that effective. And there are people who tell me, oh yeah, I'm learning this language on Duolingo, but that's all they're using. And when that happens, you know, they probably don't come out with a whole lot of knowledge, especially if they're not doing things like taking notes on what they learn and stringing their own sentences together, because sometimes we have like crazy sentences on Duolingo. Also, if I sound a little bit nasally, I am still sick, so sorry about that. Still recovering. And this challenge that I wanted to do was for the language Polish. So why such a hard language? I've been dying to learn it for a while, and I don't know if I will get to a point of being conversational or if after this challenge I will be all burned out. I don't know. We'll see. But it is a language that my grandmother speaks, says a few people in my family. She has said some words here and there, but I don't know if she still speaks it or not at all because she was born here in the United States and it's been a long time. But I wanted to challenge myself to use only Duolingo, so no Forvo, no YouTube, no help from other humans, including my grandmother. She's not going to know about this challenge at all until the end because I want to surprise her by speaking some Polish to her and seeing if she remembers. But I'm going to challenge myself to see how much I could learn from just using Duolingo in 90 days. I wanted to do a challenge to finish the whole tree, but it is so long and I don't know what's going to happen once I go back to school, grad school, and so I figured I would be busy and I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. I kind of wanted to have a deadline so you guys could have some things to expect. So the only app I will be using is Duolingo, but I will be taking notes on that and through that practicing through those notes and everything. So. I just wanted to give a sample lesson here to see how this goes. I did go through the first lesson because I tried filming this video a little bit earlier, but we're going to try this again. Okay, so getting my phone out, basics, here we go. Pronunciation is going to be off, I already know it will be. So, on which is he. Ona. Ona. Well, it has an A at the end, and I know it's not a romance language, but it's similar to he, so I'm gonna guess it'll be she. So I remember from the last lesson that mushtisna, or however you say that, I am probably so wrong, so sorry, is man, and ya is I. So I'm just gonna guess that it means I am a man. Jestem kobieta. I am. I uh. I am a woman. On jest mężczyzna. On jest mężczyzna. Mężczyzna? On jest mężczyzna. Mężczyzna. Uh, he is a man. She. Ona. Easy word to pronounce, right? Right? Ja jestem kobieta. On jestem mężczyzna. Da, on jest. He, on. Ja jestem kobieta. 
Ja jestem kobieta. I am a woman. Ona je jabłko. Ona je jabłko. Oh, oh, she eats an apple. I remember this from the last lesson because jabłko is apple. So, eats an apple. On je jabłko. On je jabłko. He eats an apple. Ona jest kobieta. Ona jest kobieta. He, she, sorry, whoa. She is a woman. Jestem mężczyzną. Jestem mężczyzną. Uh, he, that's not, I don't know. I am. That's interesting. Ja jem jabłko. Ja jem jabłko. I eat an apple. I'm a man. Ja jestem mężczyzna. I am a woman. Ja jestem kobieta. Kobieta. On. Uh, last one, last one. On. Oh my gosh, my memory is that bad. Okay. On. Yes. Yes! Okay, so that is an example of a lesson. Spelling, I heard that Polish can be phonetic, but since I'm not looking up videos to learn the alphabet or pronunciation because I want to prove a point with Duolingo, I will not have the pronunciation down because I will be hearing it from a robot and not a real person. So follow me with this challenge. Be sure to subscribe to see more updates on how I'm doing with this challenge by the end of the three months. I will see you guys in the next video. Check out my blog for more language tips as well as travel tips. They're on there too from when I studied abroad. And be sure to leave a comment and share this video with your friends. If you want, feel free to do the Duolingo challenge with me. You don't have to do Polish, you could do another language. Just be sure to let me know that you're doing it though, because I would love to know, and we could support each other. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye-bye!